My name is Steven. I used to be a trial lawyer. My name is Fritz. I used to be a professional juggler. <laughs> On a Saturday morning in June of 2006, we posted a three-minute video online that ended both of our careers. <laughs> it did start new ones. When we posted that first Cocomentos video online, we told one person. I told my brother David in San Francisco, who told a friend of his in Seattle, who posted it on the website fark.com that was read by a blogger in Germany whose blog was read by a producer for David Letterman in New York City. So in 48 hours, it went from our home base in Maine to San Francisco, to Seattle, to Germany, to Letterman. And three weeks later, we were on the show. <laughs> when we posted that video, we told one person, but by the end of the first day, we had 14,000 views. And by the end of the second day, the people who hosted our video called to say their servers were melting. Today, that video has been seen over 100 million times. And all from telling just one person. Since then, we've made videos with a quarter of a million sticky notes. We've made a Coke and Mentos powered rocket car. We've made videos working in conjunction with companies like McDonald's, <laughs> Coca-Cola, Office Max, ABC Family, Google, and more. Each of these videos has gone viral and gotten millions of views. And they've had an astonishing impact. Uh, our first two campaigns for Coca-Cola spiked two-liter Diet Coke sales in the United States by over 5%. <laughs> twice. <laughs> And they've boosted Mentos sales by 15% for three years straight. Now, we didn't set out to be viral video experts. What we studied was clowning. European-style, simple, red-nosed clowning. We both studied with a number of teachers, but particularly with Avner Eisenberg at Celebration Barn Theater in South Paris, Maine. At one point, I had a one-man clown show in San Francisco. And I toured with a Cirque du Soleil spinoff. Between the two of us, we've spent a lot of time analyzing that kind of performance. What makes one circus act breathtaking and another boring? <laughs> what makes one clown funny and another, oh dear God, make him stop? <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it's all about creating a connection with your audience. When you're performing in a barn in the woods of Maine, you don't want to pretend you're on Broadway with all the lights and the sets and the dazzle. You want to drop all that pretense and just focus on connecting with people. And it turns out that viral video is exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't television with cameras covering every angle, with crane shots and dolly shots, and pans and zooms and quick edits. This is reality. <laughs> seen, seen through a cell phone camera. Television has spent decades <laughs> perfecting video production techniques. And online, you need to cut through all of that. You need to drop all of that and just focus on connecting with people. <laughs> this is a new kind of video. Everything that you know about video from television is wrong. All of the video production techniques that you've seen for television and movies, all those techniques are actually in the way.
But on television, they use quick cuts, crazy camera angles, pans and zooms and news crawls, sound effects, to keep us from turning away. These techniques trick us into watching by exploiting a primal human reaction called the orienting response. The orienting response is what kicks in when we hear a sudden noise or we see a sudden movement. All of our senses involuntarily orient to the stimulus. We can't help it, it's automatic. And from an evolutionary standpoint, that's critical because that noise might be a snake in the grass. That movement might be a tiger about to attack. And television is constantly stimulating our orienting response. A, a sudden zoom or a quick cut will force us to pay attention, if only for a moment. When that moment's gone, they hit us again and again so that we can't turn away. But there is no snake in the grass. There is no tiger about to attack. So as a result, television numbs us into a lethargic stupor so that when we finally stagger off to bed, we realize we just spent the last three hours watching reruns of Dukes of Hazard <laughs> again. But online, putting your audience into that kind of a passive trance is a problem. Your goal in viral video is to get people to take action. You need them to stop what they're doing and tell their friends about what they've just seen. Jonah Berger and Catherine Milkman at the University of Pennsylvania have looked at what makes people share content online. And what they've found is that, indeed, when we're in a passive mood like that, we don't share very much. What gets us sharing what's most, most contagious is content that stimulates active, positive emotions, things that make us laugh, things that amaze us. Whether you're on stage or online, you need to cut through the tricks and the flash and focus on making a real connection. To create contagious content, there are four core principles we found are crucial to understand. First, be true. Don't fake it, make it real. Second, don't waste my time. Get down to business right away. Third, be unforgettable. Show us something we've never seen before. And fourth, ultimately, it's all about humanity. So let's dig into these four rules. First, be true. Show us real people having real reactions to real events. What really happens when you drop, uh, drop 500 Mentos mint candies into 100 <laughs> bottles of Coke, as we did for the Extreme Diet Coke and Mentos experiment? <laughs> what really happens when you send 250,000 Super Bowls bouncing down a hill in San Francisco as Sony Bravia did for their Bouncy Balls video. These videos... <laughs> these videos didn't recreate anything. They captured the real thing when it really happened. In June of 2009, a video was posted on YouTube with the description a magical moment happens on Main Street, USA, when a young man proposes to his girlfriend on a summer evening in Disneyland... Registered trademark. ...resort. <laughs> it was fake. This video has multiple cameras, multiple angles, perfect lighting, perfect sound, perfect hair. This is a toothpaste commercial. Somehow, Disney didn't trust that a real wedding proposal would be interesting enough. But consider this, that same month, Jill Peterson and Kevin Hines got married in Minnesota. And the video of their wedding, with their whole party dancing down the aisle, was one of the most popular videos of the year. Now, coming from the circus, <laughs> coming from the circus, I've seen a lot of great handstands in my life. This is not one of them. <laughs> But it's beautiful. <laughs> and these are not the greatest dancers. But they're real, and we love them for that. JK Wedding Entrance Dance is true. And there are no video production techniques that interfere with the feeling that we are there. It was shot with one camera. There are no edits. There was no second take. 
Everything about that was so true. And it now has over 76 million views. Trust that truth. Explore what you can do with just a coat hanger and don't obscure it by overproducing it. Don't try to fake a marriage proposal. Throw out your scripts, just turn the camera on and get everybody dancing down the aisle. Our second rule is don't waste my time. Our mantra here is only the money shots. If you've got a baby monkey riding backwards on a pig, show us that immediately. As Elvis said, a little less conversation, a little more action. And as Natasha Varushka, the queen of swords, said, less chit-chat, more swallowing. <laughs> queen of swords, that's important. We learned this lesson the hard way. With our extreme sticky note experiments, we had dozens of cool stunts with over a quarter of a million sticky notes. How did we start? Well, there's a secretary, and she's kind of bored. She's watching our old video. Then her boss comes out, and he's kind of a jerk. He gives her lots of, and she looks at her work, and, and eventually All he leaves. All of this and is an extreme waste of time. <laughs> it's an agonizing 58 seconds, almost one-third of the video, before we get to what we've promised you, extreme sticky note experiments. Now, this video did well. It got few million views, it won some great industry awards, but it could have been so much more. What got in the way? Story got in the way. <laughs> it turns out that unlike almost all other film and video, viral video is not about story. Advertisers and filmmakers were used to thinking of everything as a story because stories are powerful tools to grab and hold attention. But surprisingly, in viral video, story is a waste of time. If you have a sword swallower, show her swallowing swords. Don't tell us her life story. <laughs> Look at all the top videos on YouTube. They're not telling stories. They're music videos, crazy dances, novelty songs, babies laughing, a kid biting his brother's finger, a panda sneezing. <laughs> This is vaudeville, this is sideshow. As tempting as it is to turn everything into a story, don't do it. Just get down to business. And just like a sideshow act, every viral video has a hook. Something that provokes that reaction. I have never seen this before. <laughs> so that brings us to our third rule, be unforgettable. You want, your goal is to make something that would have a great carnival barker's pitch. So step right up, step right up. See a baby monkey riding backwards on a pig. See what happens when we drop an iPhone into a blender. And yes, oh yes, watch a guy dance Gangnam style. <laughs> that is unforgettable. All of these videos, all of these videos have great hooks. How do you find your hook? Do something different, and then take it further than anyone else has. For us, that usually means doing way more exploration than anyone would expect. You want to explore your idea to the point where you become the world's leading expert until you own it. I would venture to guess that no one knows more in the world about the extremely important science of dropping candy into soda. And in the same way, we set out to become the world's leading expert in making sticky note waterfalls. Uh, OK Go owned dancing on treadmills in Here It Goes Again. And Cleary and Harding owned dancing with their hands in We No Speak Americano. Both of these videos were like nothing anyone had seen before. As a result, millions of people told their friends, oh my god, you have got to see this. <laughs> so what odd thing are you passionate about? Now, I really liked being a lawyer. I got to help a lot of people. I got to learn about a lot of different things. But 
When I went home at night, except when I was actually in the middle of a trial or in that preparation period beforehand, I didn't think about my cases. What I thought about were things like, I wonder if I can play Stars and Stripes forever on glasses of water. And I, I can. not can. Yes, he can. <laughs> and I grew up as the son of two math professors, and I went off to study math at Yale. When I quit school to be a juggler, my, <laughs> my parents were thrilled, as you would expect. <laughs> and while I loved math and I loved juggling, what I discovered was that when I got up in the morning, what I wanted to do was juggle and climb through coat hangers. <laughs> so what do you find yourself thinking about when your time is your own? Explore that corner of the world like we did with Coke and Mentos and Sticky Notes and take it all the way to unforgettable. Now, people often come up to us and say, do you know what my favorite moment in your videos is? So is it when we've got a dozen choreographed fountains going up all at the same time? Is it when we've got 40,000 Sticky Notes coming down from the ceiling? Is it Fritz shooting down the road on that Coke Mentos powered rocket car? Is it any of those effects we spend months working on? Nope. Those are important. Those are our hooks. But everybody's favorite moment is always when we do this. <laughs> and that's our, that's our fourth rule in action. To create a connection, ultimately, it's all about humanity. No matter what crazy stunt we've just done, when we throw our arms up in that moment of triumph, everyone gets to share in our absurd accomplishment. We all celebrate together. We're convinced that including that real moment of our expression of joy has been critical to the success of our videos. Neuroscientists have learned that emotion all by itself is contagious. So when you see us in that one moment of expressing our real joy, you actually feel a little bit of what we feel. So show us your moment of triumph. Show us your human reaction. Give us at least one real moment of emotion to connect to. All of the most compelling online videos from JK Wedding Entrance Dance to Susan Boyle, David After Dentist, <laughs> Charlie Bit My Finger, and one of our favorites, Where the Hell Is, Where the hell is Matt? All of these videos, <laughs> all of these videos show us images of real people and real emotions. They show us the raw humanity, the raw humanity that creates the strong positive emotions that make us want to share that experience with our friends. The bottom line is this, viral video is about connecting with people. And the ways to do that haven't changed for thousands of years. Be honest in what you do. Don't waste time. Show us something we've never seen before. And let us see who you really are. The tools are in your hands. So go out and capture moments of simple, unforgettable humanity. All you need is your cell phone. Go out and start your own epidemic. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs>